That's pretty bad. Yeah. The reason we're checking the rotating band is when we put it in the 105 breach, we have to take it out. There's a nick or something in it could get hung and cause a problem later down the road. Put it in the ashes and secure it. You want to tell them what you're doing, Danny? Yep. As soon as he hands me the round, I put in my hand on the fuse on the top, giving it a quick jerk, making sure it's not loose. Also checking the setting, and I give it a couple rotations to look at the rotating band, make sure there's no cuts in it. And throughout the whole time, I'm also landing at the entire Round itself, make sure there's no pitting. 1,600, expect 8,000, 10 minutes later. And this wedding breaks through time by tower. The objective is also to keep your hand on the primer as much as possible. Frequency heading with power squad 26. Awesome controls. Super slow because we're we're tweaking the guns in. Cardinal Ford. Yeah. We'll take care of it. Smoke and all that. Oh uh, yeah, I got it on the next one. Keep on five ads, keep on five low. It's gonna start to stink back here in a second. Yeah. Good ready. Good ready. Let's go. Very low before you do. No, I'm good. Here it comes. You have the box. Copy.
SNLX. My job title is a Special Missions Aviator. Uh, support the SLS. My role specifically uh, in Emerald Warrior is to support AC-130 gunship and our supporting of uh, training for not only us but other air players so we can get a good uh, you know, training for this exercise. My job, my job is important because uh, my primary job is to keep rounds going out of the, uh, the aircraft. So if anything goes wrong with any of these guns, we need to be able to fix it, correct the problem, to get more rounds on the ground to protect the ground party. Emerald Warrior is preparing us to work with different types of ground parties and to integrate with other types of aircraft and so we can kind of build that team, uh, that team you know, aspect of the mission. We can work on it together. I think that this will be especially beneficial downrange because the training itself is simulating a downrange environment. So everything is as if we were downrange, we're, we're, we're pushing ourselves as if we were downrange, trying to get rounds out as if there's a ground party on the ground actually getting shot at. Ultimate goal is to keep the ground party happy, keep the ground party safe, and after that we want to make sure the aircraft stays safe. That's pretty much it. What we did today was we were working on the guns. Uh, we pre-struck the guns, got them ready to be fired, got the guns online so we could fire them. Fired them according to the calls for fire that the ground party did. Uh, worked with a couple of different ground teams to put rounds down. And then we cleaned up and uh, got out of here. I love my job because I get to, I'm directly a part of helping out someone else's day. When the ground party's not having a very good day, hey, we're there to help them out. And that's probably what makes my job the, the most uh, rewarding.